there was a um, there's a knockout pay per view. Mm -hmm. That it probably will have already aired. It, oh yeah, for sure, it's already aired. Yeah, yeah. It, it aired in September. Yes. And you were, if you want to look closely, we'll see somebody we recognize right there in the crowd. Hard I cam. don't think you even really have to look very closely. <laughs> I think I'm just there. Let's, let's talk about the the reasoning for doing it and maybe some of the stories that now that people have seen it might might enjoy. Uh, yeah, I uh, actually have a, some some backstage footage and stuff of that I was going to release as a download, and but I'm trying to kind of compose. Um, to explain again why because again I don't think people realize why I was doing they think just because I wanted my bills paid so <laughs> I my everything's over with and uh, I remember that the pay-per-view was on St. Patrick's Day and everything I had been over with was the week prior and I'm talking to my lawyer he goes you should go to the to one of their tapings and just be there and just you know nah, you know he's just and I was like you know what there's a knockouts pay-per-view in two days. <laughs> I was like, hmm. You probably, you probably just didn't know at the time that it would take you six months to see it, right? Well, no, because, you know, I, I'm a patient person. I can wait. <laughs> I waited two and a half years I, to go through all that crap. So, you know, I just, it's, it's, the, it's the, the principle of the matter, which sounds so cliche, but that's essentially what it is. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go, and I'm going to sit in the audience, on the, and I'm going to, I'm not going to do anything bad or anything, but I just I want to prove a point. And you know, it had gone around, and it was all in, it was a well-known fact on the internet that a lot of old knockouts had I don't want to say old ex knockouts had been asked to come back, and a lot of them had said no. You know, like, and it, that just I think that answer kind of speaks for itself that they don't want to come back and participate in that. So I decide that you know I'm going to make some signs and I'm going to go over. And I'll just go ahead and talk about her. So the night before, we were I think we were having Shine or there were some girls doing customs with Lexi or whatever. Amber O'Neill, uh, she, you know, she I, is it cool if I crash at your house? Because da da da. I'm like, come on, girl. So she comes in and I've got all these signs on the ground. And I'm like, I'm going to go to the pay-per-view tomorrow. <laughs> she can I go with you, girl? I'm like, hell yeah. So uh, I made all very nice signs. I made one that said... Um, I have a girl crush on you, Velvet Sky. Um, you're craw amazing, Mickey James, because she always says saying amazing. She says craw amazing. It's just something she always said. So I made. One, I said you're still terrorizing. Um, I made one like this said that. Uh, then I had gotten the Iggy that a couple of uh, my girls, some shine girls or some local girls. So I made one that said the Great Santana, and I, you know. And then I made one that said, well, I don't want to spoil it. So during the whole show, we, we get in, we, we're fans. I wore a hat and I had on a long sleeve shirt and da 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 da. And we go in, and during the whole show, um, when the girls would come out, I would hold up, you know, the sign for that girl and da 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 da. Well, when it came down to the end, it was a bunch of singles matches, and then the winner of each match participated in a battle royal and the winner of that battle royal was the queen of TNA. Mm -hmm. So I waited all the way until like two people had already gotten in the battle royal. And then I took off my hat, I took off my shirt and I was like, Amber girl, I don't want to get you no heat, like maybe scoot a couple feet down <laughs> because she was getting recognized more because she, you know, her blonde blonde hair and I had kind of like been like this. I did have one Duke, why are you deaf? And I'm like, no, I'm not deaf. <laughs> but I like, it. and I, you know what? It felt like um, I was getting ready for a match. It felt like, I, I mean, there was this physical feeling and I felt strong and I felt powerful and, but I didn't feel vindictive or anything. I felt very validated and I, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when, and you know, being on TV, you know what's going to happen. So you're directly across from the hard cam and you see that red light come on on that camera. So, you know, that camera's on, I'm on camera. So took off my hat, took off my shirt, got my very last sign. And every single time that that red light up, I just stood up and I was all by myself. Like, nobody else was standing up because like everybody had left. It was the middle of the day and like there weren't even very many people there. And it said, I'm here independently. And a handful of people got it, you know, because the, uh, of what I was trying to do. But for me, it was just kind of like the, 
It was closure in a classy, mm -hmm. conservative way, which which what you said that I am. Trying to be a lady about it. But, eh, I mean, the whole time. And, like, even when uh, Madison came down and she's putting the crown on Gail's head, like, I was... I, <laughs> <laughs> So when y'all see it, no way it's getting cut, there is no way. And I was like, how much is this going to piss the office off? 